all right friends we were talking about electronic commerce and we started with the e business e electronic commerce definition the process of buying selling or exchanging products services or information via computer i talked about some examples as well and i showed you amazon.com ebay bidding auctioning and many other websites that you would be studying and you would be understanding what skill what what concepts have been applied on the those websites so today in this uh, video i would be talking about major electronic concepts and uh, these are the major electronic concepts the first one is pure versus partial electronic commerce okay uh, let me talk to you in layman terms first before i get into the um, the you know terminologies okay the reason why i choose to talk to you in layman terms is because we live in the digital era we live in the digital age which means that we are quickly approaching a time in which all of these things the electronic commerce transactions the using of credit cards the using of third party payment options the usage of many multimedia to enhance uh, electronic commerce experiences this is something that is not uncommon why because we have internet everywhere we are we just don't have internet everywhere we have mobile data everywhere so we have connectivity everywhere we have uh, uh, mobile as well we have internet broadband we have sms we have every kind of connectivity everywhere which means that we are we are exposed to several different kinds of technologies all the time so when i say I want to talk in layman terms. I want to say that you must have seen something like this, and then I would want to label it with a definition. I would say this is what it means. This is what it implies. Okay. So pure versus partial electronic commerce. Okay. There are companies. For example, I just gave an example yesterday. Amazon.com. It's a pure electronic commerce company, which means you do not find Amazon stores anywhere. Okay. Not that I have heard of. Okay, you don't find an Amazon store that you walk inside. You open the door, you walk inside, and you buy stuff in there. No, it's a pure play. It's a purely electronic commerce uh, in, in entity. And then you have a partial electronic commerce entity in which, for example, Walmart. If you have heard of Walmart, just do Walmart.com and you'll find out. Walmart is a famous, famous uh, grocery department store. throughout the united states okay and it is partial electronic commerce because it has some of the items available online which means you can order certain things online if you don't find them in the store you can order them online so that's partial okay and uh, let me stress on this uh, teaching strategy for this course i would be using a lot of international examples in uh, big names so that you can google it you can look it up to explain the concepts in this course it's all example based i'm not going to be talking about definitions all the time i will apply these definitions to the uh, examples around you so electronic commerce organizations for example how we have the brick and mortar that is the all economy organizations the reason why we say all economy is because you know this is how shop started uh you have these um, you know people who buy uh, uh fruits and vegetables from uh stalls out there it's very common in third world countries and then you have those uh um, you know vans parked outside selling hot dogs in the western countries uh the street vendors uh, we have those uh, brick and mortar uh and then we have those you know the shops that you go inside and you buy things for example you know you have target.com you can look it up it's a very famous store costco and any any store that you walk inside in that's a brick and mortar organization it's an all these are all economy organizations big or corporations that perform their primary business offline okay they sell physical products by means of physical agents you have physical sellers there who are um, you know you can bargain with them you can bid a price with them you can bargain with them and if it's a fixed price depending on store policies you know you have to follow them and then you know this is how it is it's like it's a brick and mortar 
organization that's what it's called virtual or pure play organizations that conduct their business activity activity solely online okay solely online now my dear students there are degrees of uh, online and uh, there are degrees of the extent to which a store is physical or the extent to which there is uh, it is virtual so you have two ends of a spectrum one is pure play one is brick and mortar and there in between there are all stores related uh, located in this spectrum okay the ones that are closer to pure play which means they are very virtual they have very fewer stores and they don't they don't uh, physical uh, they don't entertain physical buying and selling much they only do the they mostly do the online and they are the brick and mortar and very famous are the gold shops that we have uh, they people usually buy gold shops when they go inside the shop okay i know diamond stores online and people are buying diamonds online but gold uh, specifically gold is always purchased when they go brick and mortar okay usually what people do is uh, for br purely brick and mortar companies what they do is they have websites that are just information based okay and in this course you're going to appreciate the different kinds of website that you see all websites are not created equal their functionalities are different and their you know the way the way they are people interact with them is different okay and the security procedures there are many things going on so all of this is going to be covered in this course then we have click and motor uh, that is click and brick organizations organizations that conduct some e-commerce activities usually as an additional marketing channel okay and uh, you would see that many companies that are physical in nature um, they are quickly having uh, you know an electronic commerce counterpart okay uh, a component that helps people uh, bring more awareness uh, create transparency now if you want to have a notebook in front of you just write this term down transparency okay transparency uh, i'll just type it down here for you uh, transparency this is the key to achieving a successful e-business why do i say this okay uh where's a highlighter here okay not too all right let me just use a transparency is a key term which means that you know uh, people do not trust online organizations unless and until you put forward the information that is supposed to be private you put it forward that doesn't mean you deal your business you you reveal your business secrets but you know there are many lot of inside information that is not available you don't have anything to read when you visit a brick and mortar or a, a company or a store you don't know what you're looking at what their policies are what their philosophies are what their you know environmental friendliness is how they are giving back to the community how they're using their resources how they're recycling all of these things you know these policies are available online now people go to the online website they take a look at what the company is like if they like the philosophy if they like the uh, you know uh, the values of the company they want to invest their money in there they want to purchase products from there so very quickly brick and mortar companies are realizing that they need to do something similar they need to have a website that ha provides awareness to the customer what uh, to, so that they have an idea of what they're investing in okay so this is going to be one of the most important features of any electronic commerce business and you too will need to develop many 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 ways in which you can assure the customer that they are putting their money in the right place okay so here we are and we are talking about the dimensions of the electronic commerce just like i explained my dear students i explained that there is a spectrum and uh, it's like a just draw a straight line on an x-axis okay on one side on your left side is the virtual play on your right side of this x-axis is the um, electron the brick and mortar okay and in between there are levels there are levels how depending on how closer the company is to pure play uh, the uh, uh, virtual organization that's how how much 
integration it has uh, of uh, the internet technologies that's what i'm trying to say so what we have here is this is exactly what this diagram is telling us and uh, it's showing us an x and y axis and there is this cube in which you it shows that if you look at the legend this one is a traditional commerce the traditional commerce is your typical um, grocery store the small grocery stores you know um, in UAE we have something called Bakala and you could have something in you know in your country as well in which there are there is a chain of grocery stores very small convenient grocery stores okay uh, they don't sell anything online most of the time they have this traditional commerce going on here they are physical ordering and they have a physical delivery method the person comes here physically they picks the thing up for example milk or bread they're running out of milk and bread they just go to the convenience store pick these two things up pay them and come back okay the next one is partial electronic commerce a good example here is the pizza hut if you've had pizza from pizza hut and many are dominoes and many other famous pizza places what they have done is they have created an online presence in which they allow customers to order online okay choose their pizza size topping size of uh, you know the thickness of the pan the crust all of these things the people choose them they click on different radio buttons available and they create their own pizza and the price is added up and they check out they can pay online or they can just place an order and then the order based on the order uh, they will be called back from the company from the pizza place that hey you just place an order is that true you say yes they say okay we're delivering in 15 minutes they deliver at your door okay and you can pay the person the money the delivery guy you can pay the person the money and that those kind of digital ordering is partial electronic commerce uh, pizza is one example then we have walmart costco i'll show you the websites okay uh, as we move on i will show you how people they visit the stores and what kind of marketing strategies they have to keep their things at the edge and believe me these people the electronic commerce uh, uh, business uh, business organizations have created exciting exciting offers for people to you know to mesmerize them to compel them to buy from their websites and then we have uh, this pure electronic commerce website that i showed you yesterday here is the amazon.com okay uh, in the previous video i showed you that there is this um, there is this amazon.com ebay all of these things all of these websites they are pure electronic commerce websites you do not see them anywhere okay and these websites have to have digital processing for orders for checking out for following up for receipts for any kind of customer support all of this processing is online and the delivery method is through a business to business transaction which means that they how will I get my products online I mean if I just placed an order for you know for example for a purse or for a, for a pair of shoes or anything how would I get it these people will pack it and ship it through a third party business which would, could be FedEx which could be DHL or anything okay so moving on to electronic commerce definitions and concepts electronic markets and networks electronic market or e-marketplace this is an online marketplace where buyers and sellers meet to exchange goods services money or information okay so we have the electronic market or e-marketplace i'll show you e-marketplace in a minute just hang in there let me just explain these definitions intranet and internal corporate or government network that uses internet tools such as web browsers and internet protocols and then there is the extranet a network that uses the internet to link multiple intranets okay i'm going to talk about this later but right now let me explain what an e-marketplace looks like okay what's a marketplace a traditional marketplace what comes in your mind i mean marketplace 
market places where you know you have sellers and buyers okay there's a lot of noise going on there are you know for example mangoes out there in the market and uh, there's a marketplace for mangoes there's a marketplace for fish and so many other you know goods so uh, people just go and bid on mangoes and they say you selling very expensive i'm not going to buy from you i'm going to go somewhere else and then you know uh, then they also okay i need mangoes but i need bananas as well i need to look for bananas in some other marketplace and then you know and and so forth so it's like you know a marketplace where sellers and buyers come together and they bid on products and then they bargain and then they come up with the best selling and buying price and then they make a deal so in the online environment we have something like this this is a comp the website known as craigslist craigslist let me write it down here if you cannot see it up there it's called craigslist this is a very famous uh, very famous marketplace online marketplace and what it does is you know it will ask you of your location i chose north america right now okay and in north america if i choose a state where okay for example somewhere in virginia and i would choose richmond what happens i am taken to the richmond community okay okay so we are here in the richmond virginia community you can choose any community from there okay you can just type craigslist.com and then it's going to ask you your location and you can look at the craigslist in your own community and uh, it's going to talk about a lot of things that will explain why this is an e-market okay let's talk about that in the next video see you shortly